Hello and welcome to another Craft Time with Pastor Missy. I hope you're all doing well today. It is good to see everybody. And today, if you remember, we are making a coaster. And our coaster that we're going to make out um, is going to be made out of toilet paper rolls. I thought, you know, all the toilet paper talk, well, let's make something out of the toilet paper rolls after we're done using up the main part. So we need toilet paper rolls. So hopefully you have, you just need one, but we're actually over the next couple weeks um, at different points in time, we're going to do some other crafts that have toilet paper rolls. So keep saving them, okay? Next week, we're gonna make a bird feeder, all right? Or a squirrel feeder, depending on what you have in your yard. So, but for today, we need a toilet paper roll. We need some glue. Um, you can use stick glue, but if you have some of the squishy kind of glue, liquid glue, it's a little bit better. But stick glue will work too. I made one of uh, our coasters with, with the stick glue to make sure it worked. Also, if we have time, I'm going to add in and we're going to make something else. And for that, we'll need a twist tie or maybe a little bit of string. Of course, we need scissors. Now remember, if you're younger or if you're having difficulty cutting the toilet paper roll, ask an adult for help. Because sometimes when it's hard to cut something, we'll push too hard and our fingers will move and then, ouch, we get cut. So if you're having any problems, just ask a grown-up for help or an older brother or sister, okay? So right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our toilet paper roll and we're gonna squish it just a little bit. See, I'm just squishing it. There we go, I squished it and now I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna cut it pretty thin. I'm only gonna cut that wide. See how wide? That's not very wide at all. It's probably an eighth of an inch if you care about those sorts of things, okay? So now you're gonna keep on cutting and you're gonna need to cut mm, a good number of these. Uh, I'm gonna two, three, four, I'm about to do a fourth one. You're probably gonna need to cut about 10 of these, okay? Just to be on the safe side, you probably only need eight or nine, but cutting 10 is a better idea. So cut those, cut a whole bunch. I already cut a whole bunch over here. See, I've got more because I didn't want to take up all our time cutting. So you're gonna cut up a bunch of these and then set them aside. Now, you need something for the base of your coaster. So, like usual, I forgot. The other thing we need is a little bit of paper, okay? I've just got an advertisement. This is all the way back from February, look at that. So I'm going to, I need it to be, it's a little too thin like that. So what I'm gonna do, using my glue, I'm going to just put a little bit of glue well done, squish. That doesn't really, truly, little tiny bit of glue. Um, I did my finger a little bit, but you be careful about using your fingers to do your glue because it does make a mess. And then, look at that, I'm gonna put the other sheet on top, I'm gonna squish it down. I'm gonna do, I'm going a little faster. You go slow, okay? You don't have to go this fast, but I don't want you to get bored watching me play with glue. I'm squishing it down. You notice I'm using this section of it. I'm just using this big a piece. It's about that big, okay? And then I've got three pieces. Now I'm gonna do one, one more time. You may notice my glue is going, sometimes I go this way, sometimes I go this way. That way, I've got lots of ways for it to work. Now, this is going to take a little while to dry, but that's okay, because now I know that I put my glue here. So I'm going to cut around my pages that are glued together now. Now I know that where I glued, I can actually kind of feel it through the paper, is right in here. And that's important because now I've got to do my next step. And for this, we have our, you know our glue is right here, right? So this is our thick part place. Now, I'm gonna put more glue. Now, if I had stick glue, I would put, I do a bunch of, I do a whole 
whole bunch. That's what I did with my other one that I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay, so see how I'm squishing down hard? That's what you need to do if you've got this thick glue. You need to be nice and thick. But I'm going to go ahead because I wanted to see how it would work with the, because I already tried it with the stick glue. Now, you still don't want, you see that big old squish of it right there? That's too much. I'm going to have to move that around some because it doesn't need to be that thick. It doesn't need to be crazy thick. Now, you notice I'm sort of making this in a circle-y shape. Okay. See what it looks like now? Can you see the glue on there? Okay. Now, I'm going to start taking, these are becoming, in a way, it's going to look like a pet, a flower. And so they're my petals. And I can start by putting some here and some here. If I want to, I can go like this and this. See how it goes up and down like that? You see that? Okay. Then I put some more in. And see, if I just touch the top of it, I don't even have to get my fingers dirty with the glue. So now, see what it looks like now? And now I can add in, I would add in two more in there. I'm going to have to move these back just a little bit. And that glue will start drying really fast, so you got to watch out. I'm going to put in, let's see. Now sometimes you'll notice when you get some of your ones that you cut, some of them will be a little more straight than others, your little petal things. So you choose the ones that are a little more straight. Oh, now look at that. I got glue on my hands. Oh, look at that. And it, look at that. Now, now I have to let that sit and I have to let it dry, okay? So see what I did? Okay. So now I've got to let it dry. Now this one is the one that I started already and I made it with the glue stick, remember? And I used, again, I re used regular newspaper for this one's background. Now it's dry. So now I cut around the edges of the petals. Now this isn't as hard to cut has the paper or toilet paper roll. Now, there will be some places where it's not all glued down all the way, because that just happens, but that's okay. Now, you see? Now, maybe I should have done this on a lighter color. I'm not sure. I think this is gonna turn out a little bit better. But you see how it is now? Now, I can, I forgot I didn't bring a coffee cup in, but if I had a coffee cup, Here's a candle. See, I can set it on there. And especially if I had something that was warm, it would keep it from messing up the wood. Now, I will tell you, if you've got one of those wonderful glasses of sweet tea and it's all sweaty and it's all wet, it'll keep your, it'll keep your wood safe for a little while, but after a while, everything, this will all get wet and that glue will get wet and it will all come apart. So it's a good coaster for, um, if you're wanting to make it for something hot like a coffee mug. Also, if you put this on a, think about it. What does it look like? Started to make flowers, right? I know. He said, Pastor Missy, we made flowers last week. We did. And I'm going to show you real quick one other real cute little way you can make a flower also. So sometimes when we cut these, they start to come apart a little bit. See how that one's coming apart a little bit? Can you see that? See if you don't help my, um, I don't know, maybe you can. You see how it's coming apart a little bit? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple of these. I'm gonna have my flower, it's gonna have eight petals. So I need four of these, four of these, okay. Four of my cut pieces and one extra one that's going to be the stem. I'm going to use my twist tie and I start off by doing my twist tie around it but before I finish off my twist tie right there 
add, I'm going to add in, so these are going around the center, right? But this one is going to go through the end, okay? And then I'm going to have to make it so it's facing the same way, so they're all straight against one another. Okay, you see how that is? Okay, and now make sure they're nice and straight, and then twist tight, real tight, real tight. Now, you're going to take all of those that are in the middle now and you're going to squish them up. They were held in the middle. And now, from this one, you're going to squish it flat. You want it to be really flat. Now, it's okay. Remember, we got one that has some extra on it. That's okay. We got some cool we're going to do with that. But we need to squish these up, squish these down. And you guessed it, the middle ones are going to kind of go in the middle a little bit, just give them a little bit of something. Now, but right now, it looks kind of sad, doesn't it? So now, see, and there's our twist tie in the back. It's all, it's just hanging out right now. Now, we just kind of open them up a little bit. See how I'm just opening it up a little bit? Just open it up. Open it up. Open it up. Now, this... You gotta kind of push against. So here's that little bit of extra that came off. And watch what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna use my fingernail a little bit and make a curve. Now, you see what's happening? See what's happening? Look at that. We got a flower. You see that flower? Yeah. So now. Right now, my flower actually has a little flower stand because I've still got that twist tie, right? But if I don't want it to have the twist tie on the back, I just cut off all the extra. Now it's just got a little bitty bit. And now I have a flower to give somebody. So today we made a coaster out of toilet paper rolls. Coaster, it's not quite done yet. It's gotta dry. And we made a flower out of toilet paper rolls. So, there we go. So, we made lots of cool stuff today. See how I made some other ones earlier? So, there's lots of stuff. You just have to look around, and we just have to find ways that we can make stuff and have fun. So, I don't know, maybe you'll come up with a good idea, and maybe um, if the grown-up in your life will let you, you can send me um, a comment on Facebook, okay? All right, well, it was good to see you all. Love you, miss you, and we'll get to see one another, hopefully, pretty soon. And you take good care, be creative, have fun and know that you are loved very, very much, okay? And don't you forget that. You are amazing and wonderful and you're loved very much. Take good care. Love you. Bye. Bye. Take care.